All right, we're back. We're back with another one. All right, today we're going to embroider the beanie. All right, see, I did this one right here. Stick my last name on there. Let's get close up. You can see it. And it came, it came out smooth, all right? I'm feeling it. Yo, I just got this machine like two days ago, okay? So this is my first design that I made. I stitched out on some t-shirts just to figure the machine out. But this is my first official design. So we're going to do the same thing today on this beanie right here. Do the same thing. Yeah, let me just show you how I did it. Who knows if it's wrong? But it came out right. You feel me? Uh, I did try to practice some multicolor some, but this didn't come out the way I wanted. I didn't think it was gonna look like this. But this is just one of the designs they had on the machine. So I'm gonna figure this out. This is on my daughter's shirt, my baby. So figure this out and uh, let's get started. <clears throat> All right, so we got the backing right here, okay? And this keeps everything in place. So when you stitch, when the machine's stitching and it's pulling, it's not bunching everything together because I messed up on my first one. I didn't put the backing on and the machine start bunching everything together and just make one ball a mess. All right, so got my hoop, put the backing on there, okay? And you throw it inside like that. Simple. Tighten it up. Slap it down and start cutting. All right. But let me fix this. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. All right. But I don't have any pins. So what I'm gonna do? What we gonna do is put the beanie. All right, so we got it in, okay? So we're just gonna have it stitch right there, okay? And the backing is in there, boy, okay? Oh, I'm using, using the Brother PE535, PE535, okay? So, oh, got the Brother PE535, I got it threaded, all right? Let's, let's install this bad boy. Let me just roll it up a little bit so it's not, you know, in the way. There we go. Slide it under here. Just like that. Slap it in place. Just like that. And it's fire. And fire, okay? So we're just going to use the standard... Standard text they have. 
Um, I'm gonna use what letter do I want to use? Do I want to use the i I'm gonna use this one. All right, so we're gonna start with the numbers. So, I wonder if I can do it in sets. Let's try to do it in sets. So I'm gonna just put the show with. Okay, I got it. <clears throat> That's what we're gonna do. Since you only get so much space on this, I am gonna do it in sections. I'm gonna try to do two, two presses. And that's what we got. So we got the show with. I wanna put snake in there, but that ain't working. So we're gonna move it and move this thing all the way over. All right, I got my yeah, four and a half. And we're on embroidery. Okay. Now this side is ready to go. And this will take three minutes. Or rotate. 90. Boom. Boom. And that's it. Now let's. Let's move it. Now let's start it. See. So, you can't see all the letters, but I'm still going to have to, I'm going to have to take this out <clears throat> and move the beanie over. There we go. Alright. Well, that's okay. Lift this up. Let's unhook it. Take it out. See? we got the for show with, I'm going to put snake right there. Okay. Money. Money. So, unscrew it. Like so. Alright, pop it out. So, the back end sticks to it. We just got to cut. Cut around that. And I'm going to save all these pieces because I can still use them. My scissors are so with. Don't tell me I'll put it upside down. So, we messed up. Look at that. It's upside down. That's crazy. I'm supposed to do it 90 degrees and flip it. But. Upside down. Look at that. Don't make no sense. I already I did it on the other side, but I'm trying to rip it apart. But still, don't make no sense. So when you think you got it right, double check again to see if you got it right. Because your brain ain't got it right. Or at least I don't. So I got this old beanie, and this doesn't even have a a flip, a flip flap, flap flip. Okay? So there's no way I can mess this up. I'm gonna just print this straight across. Boom. Okay, no flip, no mess up. Here we go. Okay, so let's say uh, check and rethread upper thread. I'll go to look. Hey, my needle just broke. Man, I swear I didn't do. I don't know if they put a cheap needle in the machines or only did a couple projects. Right, so let's get that. All right, so to change the needle, might as well put this in here. I use this tool that it comes with and it also has on screen how to do it a little tutorial step and you want to put it inside here Boom. and this tightens and the needle falls out of here 
like so. And here is the broken one. Here we go. I hold the phone. Yeah. Let me just slide it up there. Anyway, I'll do it without it. All right. So we got the new needle in there. Took a little bit of work. My fingers might be too fat for this. And we just tighten it. And hopefully that's straight enough so that the, it can thread itself. All right, and finish. Got the for show with. Now we're gonna scoot it over and put snake. It should be smooth. Here we go. This material makes it hard to see. I should have had a black beanie. But let me try and get close on it. I gotta quit that. This is for show. With Nate, is that clear? I dipped in there pretty good. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Color of white don't really stand out on on this type of material, but just a practice run. Okay, this one came out good. See this white? It's move on this color. Okay, it's dark and it's not plaid, but anyway, then we're gonna print outside the border. You have to do it twice. Make sure you measure. Make sure you don't do it upside down. Now I gotta cut out this whole beanie so I can use it again, cause. That came out better. Not on this color though. But anyway, that's that. So for the PE535, I'm gonna get better at this. I'm gonna do multicolors. You feel me?